Yo, what's going on? Massive news this morning from Serato officially announcing their integration with Apple Music. Well, we saw this with Algorithm DJ just over a year ago. So I think all of us Serato users knew this was eventually coming and it's finally here. I just downloaded the new version of Serato DJ Pro 3.3. So this is by no means gonna be like an in-depth video or anything like that. I just, let's just get it up and running and check it out together. Okay, here we are. What's new in 3.3? Support for Apple Music Streaming. Okay, we get in here. Let's head into the settings. Library and display. Show streaming services. And there it is. There's Apple Music. So, of course, we've had access to our iTunes library in Serato for a long time now. Um, that's going to be separate from... The streaming service basically your itunes library is stored on your computer locally apple music streaming uh the files are stored in the cloud and you're going to need internet to access them so this is very nice they'll give you a free month to check it out if you're not already a subscriber which i am not so i will take them up on this offer all right, this is cool. Show only clean content. That is, I like that. That's useful. If you click on the manage account button right here, it's gonna bring up your Apple Music web player, which Serato specifically recommended you use to manage your streaming library. Once you got it connected, boom, a nice lovely pop up here telling you how to use it. Okay, I have been playing around in here for 20 minutes or so, and here's some things I've noticed. Some things that you cannot do, you cannot use the Serato internal record function. No surprise there, that's how it's been with streaming music. Um, there is, of course, that easy workaround of going into your options, your audio tab, click make audio available to other applications, and then just open something like Audacity, and you can hit record there, you'll be fine. Um, you can't drag Apple Music streaming songs into a normal crate. Uh, they got to stay separated. So your streaming music will stay in a playlist uh, and then your local songs will stay in your Serato crate. Um, you can't use stems, big bummer, uh, but I don't think, again, not really a big surprise there, um, but it is unfortunate. Um, and there's no offline locker like there is with BeatSource. So you do have to have a maintained internet connection in order to use this functionality. Um, what can you do? I noticed you can use Serato Flip. So that's really nice if you need to make a nice clean edit or something like that. Um, that option is there for you. You are obviously getting super high quality files streamed in from Apple uh, with a really high bit rate there. Yeah, so I don't know, this is cool for sure. Uh, am I like super jazzed about this? Not really. Um, this is, is like, is it gonna replace BeatSource streaming? No, I don't think it is. I think it's totally different. I think we're talking apples and oranges here. BeatSource is giving you the offline locker. It's giving you edits. It's giving you intros, outros. I see using this for like last minute requests at a wedding. So yeah, cool, yes. Am I super pumped about it? Not really. If you are, let me know. What do you think is the best part about this? 